how are you guys doing? And welcome back to mid cutscene with me, your girl, no fuses. But really, no. Uh, trails of Code Steel. Um, we are still in the middle of this glorious swimming competition. And I really want to see what's going to happen between Laura and Fee with this because she is angry at her. And I think it's just because of what she used to do. And I don't know how this is going to go. But with that, let's get into it. <laughs> go easy on me, guys. Yeah, guys, it's definitely gonna win this. Same to you. And if you guys enjoy this video, then please do not hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Ready? Go! Wait, do I have the press buttons for this? Oh my god, I do. Okay. Press triangle and circle when the two circles overlap. Doing this repeatedly will increase your speed. Okay, I will not lose. Oh, damn. Oh my god, I am sucking. Oh my god, I sucked so bad. I'm third place. No! Well, at least I'm not last last. They were going so freaking fast. Retry. I'm doing a definite retry. Go. Second, okay, I'll take that. I'll take second. <laughs> Accept defeat. <sighs> Not bad at all. Who? You were both tearing up the lanes out there. Oh, I'm exhausted. <sighs> oh, okay. Are you both ready? <laughs> She's like, oh, this is so awkward. How about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? L Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. <laughs> well, it's not very polite to your opponent to hold back. <sighs> this isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> mm. Good. Then let us begin. Mm. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Yeah, this'll be one to watch. Ready, go! What? He's like, what? too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Having longer arms might have been the deciding factor even. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. <sighs> you can do this when you want to, and yet you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> no reason, really? Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly could not find a middle ground. 
<laughs> yeah, because she she's too lazy. She's just like, I don't want to. It's too much effort, too much work. Well, the temperatures are going up and up, and I don't know about you, but I'm wilting like a flower. But as everyone knows, when the heat is on, that's when the refreshing power of beer is at its peak. Oh my god, stop with the beer. You're an alcoholic. Maybe I should use my free day tomorrow to hit up all the capital's beer gardens. If you're waiting for us to stop you, you're in for a long wait. So do you have some classy gentlemen lined up for lined up to go with you or will you be flying solo again <laughs> you just had to ask anyway moving on your next practical exam is coming up next wednesday i'm sure you're already used to them by now but just make sure you're ready yes instructor that means next me weekend will be your next real study <sighs> it feels like we just got done with our last one uh, if we're tied up next weekend, I guess I won't be able to go to the capital for the Summer Festival this year. What? Summer Festival? It's a seasonal holiday, kind of. Most of the major cities in Airborne are celebrated in June. I've heard it's actually an old animistic festival that is the church adopted. Ah, I see. We actually do have a Summer Festival in Nord. Though if it's mostly celebrated in June, why does the capital wait until July? You know, I've always wondered that too. Does anyone actually know? <sighs> the stands for teaching just aren't what they used to be. I believe it has something to do with the War of the Lions, though beyond that. That's correct. July is the month when the Emperor's brought an end to the Civil War. Because of that, the Summer Festival was held a month late, alongside the celebrations of the war's end. Huh, interesting. Actually, I think Joshua Thomas was talking about that one time. But it seemed like he was gonna babble on forever, so I managed to worm my way out of that conversation. Well, can't say I blame you. If you let him, he can go on about history all day. He doesn't know how to shut up. <laughs> anyway, make sure you don't let the heat sap your strength. Though I'm sure our miracle working maid will whip a massive meal to keep us energized. It really does seem like she and Sherry have some kind of history together. I bet my mirror on it. She doesn't always place innocent whenever I ask her about it, though. Well, that would be does it for homeroom. If you did the honors, Machias. Yes, instructor. All rise, bow. Ah, she's all by herself. Um, I'm gonna go after her, okay? Thanks. <sighs> Do you think you could maybe make a little more effort to get along with her? You are her senior, after all. Uh, uh, I'm aware of that, however. Looks like the two are getting along the same as ever. They seem to be arguing after their race and swim course, too. Hmm. I heard their group's last field study was middling as well. It's true. They were like that the entire trip. Is there nothing you can do to smooth things over between them, Reed? He's like, why are you asking me? Well, I'd love to do something for them if I could, but... Huh? Why me? Well, you just seem so good at this kind of thing. I'm really natural. Heh. <laughs> Besides, you're as well intentioned Mark who got duped into bringing Emson for the student council. It's not like I do anything that major for them. Hmm. What's wrong, Elliot? Sorry, what were you saying? Alright, I have to agree, Rin. I think you're the best one for the job, too. I mean, it's thanks to you that Jesus and Moxie became buddies. Who the hell became buddies? You must be sniffing roses in the Garden of Delusions if you think I'm a friend of his. Aha, <laughs> you both said that, but you're totally the same wavelength. Um, anyway, I hate to dish and dash, but I've got clubbing to get to. Oh yeah, we an orchestra, right? Hmm, I should go my way as well. Actually, I've got a to attend to myself. I'll catch you all later then. Left it. Which makes a lot of sense. He's looking pretty snazzy too. Where can we go today?
it looks like it wouldn't let me like like go to Trista automatically. I actually had to walk to, into the into the town. So that's what I'm gonna do. Should I go back to the dorm tour? I'm just gonna say stay outside. Because there's nothing here for me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's no bonding events or nothing. I guess there are cicadas around Trista too. I hear them. I always feel like that's when summer's really arrived. True. When you hear them, it's just kind of like summer's here. You, cause you hear them every year, no matter where you are, or at least where I've traveled to. Like, you always hear them. Retiring for the day, Schwarzer. Who is that? Oh snap! Uh, okay. Instructor Nightheart. Yes. Are you heading out too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. I you sound pissed off, like I pissed in your cereal. With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Your division? Oh yeah, you were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct, though because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. You mean that incident in Nord? The same. Reading the army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican army was a real possibility. While the intelligence division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict, you and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. Um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The intelligence division is looking into his identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. I see. Schwarzer, I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there. I'm about- I feel like I'm about to hear a BUT. But I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? Um... Yes, but fuck you at the same time. We worked hard on that. <laughs> well, I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group, united under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe? Yes, Instructor. I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash, but they made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on that. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect... Yes, Instructor. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class's instructor. Though considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. <laughs> oh my god, he just like, you should know this by now, but with your instructor, I, I'm surprised you know anything. Her? You're talking about instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? Oh, 
Is she keeping mum about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Before she came to Thor's, Sarah was... Uh-uh-uh. It's not very becoming of a gentleman to go around broadcasting a lady's secrets, you know. I Instructor Sarah. <laughs> She's got that face like, you better shut the fuck up. Instructor Valestein. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules, and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. I instructor <laughs> You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course, I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the provincial army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. Hmm. Hey, he's like, let me back away slowly. Get along. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spoiling for a fight. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Oh my god, I do not... I'm pretty sure I know who this is, but I just don't want him in the area. They're both like, oh, I was wrong. I was very uh -oh. wrong. Ah, Instructor Thomas? Oh, and young Reen is with you too. Simply marvelous. Run, Reen, run before he starts talking. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Would you mind if I joined you? Uh... I'm not sure that would be... They'll be like, please, no. <laughs> Actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? No, oh, but while we're all together like this, what say we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonding time? Oh, no. <laughs> I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. I'm afraid I really must. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to the bar tonight. Not with him now, lurking. Now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reen? We can't float a beer your way quite yet, but I'd be happy to treat you to something else. No, it's quite all right. <laughs> no one wants to hang out with them. They're like, no, please, no. The torch here. are always so busy. I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. <laughs> These two are about to be like. So if you'll excuse me, I'll be sure to let Sharon know that you're having dinner out tonight, instructor. No, Reen, well, wait. <laughs> She's like, don't leave me here, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we be off? I... I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early tomorrow morning, so I really must insist. And they're both just like, no, we don't want this. Reem was like, let me just back away slowly. In Midsummer's Revels, Chapter 4. Oh, dang, I forgot he's not using his voice. Pretty sure it came from upstairs. I should check it out just in case. Yes, yes we shall. Said upstairs, yep. Mm, which door? Nope, next one. Wait, who was that? Oh, you're just sitting there, all quiet? Oh, Reen. Are you okay, Fee? You were kind of spacing out there. I'm fine. Did you need something? Not really, I just want- Wait, what are you sitting on? Weapons, explosives, all that good stuff. Whoa, just be careful with those. 
I know how to handle them. It's probably a bad thing, though. Huh? Nothing. I'm asleep now. Night. Yeah, good night. Like, she's just staring into the yonder, just... Which means... I know, but... Emma's talking to someone in there. Who's there? Who's there? Sorry, it's me. It's okay for me to come in. Marie? Um, please come in. Thank you. Oh, I've seen that cat before. <laughs> the cat's like, just act natural. Um, how long are you standing outside? Not that long. I thought I heard a cat meowing, so I was curious where it could have come from. Actually... Were you just talking to someone in here? Hmm, well... Oh, why well, yes! I was talking to a friend of my Arcus! The, the communications function sure is convenient, isn't it? Aha, yes, it sure is. Let the sergeant interrupt. Do you want me to leave so you can talk to them? Oh, no, no, it's fine. We finished our competition anyway, so there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Alright, if you say so. Still, you really do know that cat then. Are you its owner or something? No, not quite. If anything, she's my supervisor. Supervisor? For friend! Friend's the word I was looking for, not supervisor. Yes, we're very good friends. I'm like, aha. Uh -huh. So that's her boss, pretty much. When I first enrolled at the academy, we kept running into one another. And after a few offerings of milk and cheese, we actually became friends. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, so that's what it's doing in your room. Seems pretty well behaved today, so that means it's in a good mood. Ah, uh, certainly seems that way. Um, anyway, I'll be sure to take her back to her owners later. We might get in trouble if the instructors were to find out cats in the dormitory. Oh, maybe. I don't think they'd have a problem with that. Oh, Emma. Yes? You wouldn't happen to know its name, would you? If it has an owner interest, I'm guessing it must have one. Oh, yes, you're right. Um, <laughs> her name is Celine. The cat's like, what? Hmm, Celine, huh? That's a nice name. Kind of matches her shiny, silky looking fur. Suits her. <laughs> the cat's like, hmm, thank you. Stay here. All right, that means she's a female. <laughs> yeah, she's a girl. All right, Celine, say goodbye to Reen. <laughs> Bye, Celine. Got to admit, I'm kind of jealous Emma for bonding with her like that. Oh well, I'll have to give her some fresh milk next time I see her around. Okay. Let's go down here to the first floor. Can I leave? Well, can I go in here? I can't go in here. There's Sharon. Lady Sarah returned home a few moments ago. Master Nerda was even such a gentleman as to escort her back, too. Ah, I see. I guess it does take a gentleman to escort a stone dead drum back home when he's plenty busy himself. It would seem that Lady Sarah hadn't enjoyed even drinking with her co workers. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of joining them sometimes should the object present itself. I get the feeling she plays on the list of monster drinkers. Everyone's a monster drinker in this game. Can I leave? Okay, I cannot leave. Somebody else. I think it was Laura. Out and about. Yep. Okay. Now I can get to my room. Should I 
Should I call it a day? Yes, we have nothing else to do. Beautiful Trista. Okay, what did we get this time? Obviously this. If you guys like to read this, then please go ahead and um, pause the video. Wow, they sure didn't hold back on the crest this time. You always get three. What do you mean? Looks like the only must do is exploring the old school house again, though. I guess I should start figuring out which ones to take care of. Those schoolers can wait until later. This is the first free day I've had since we switched over to the summer uniforms. We'll probably get hot later, but it's nice right now, so I might as well get to show rolling. Okay, here's our first mission. You're Bridget from class two, right? If so, I'm here to help with the request that you sent in student council. That's me, all right. And you're Reem from class seven. Now that we've established that we know each other, let's get down to business. Can you get started right now? I sure can, ask away. Phew, thank you. So you wrote that you're having some issues with your childhood friend? That's right, I learned from class six, to be specific. We're from the same town, and we used to go to Sunday school together. I ended up having to leave that school though, and I never saw him after that. And that's why I was so happy to run into him again here, but... Ah, I see where this is going. Because they're in social different social classes, they're, if they're seen together, it's gonna look bad on, on her. You're an upper class student though, aren't you? I'm surprised you were childhood friends with someone who, well, isn't. <laughs> what, is that that weird? Well, I wouldn't say it's weird, but it's pretty rare, isn't it? Well, it's true that nobles and commoners don't have many opportunities to interrupt winter in Erebonia. But I'm just the daughter of a baron though, so our family isn't all that influential. My father was never one to put much importance on social standing either. He even let me attend Sunday school on my own since it was close to home. That would explain it. I guess her dad's kind of like mine. So what exactly would you like him to do? You said you weren't sure what he was thinking. Well, I'm not sure why, but Alan's been doing everything he can to avoid me ever since we met up again here. He just gives me the cold shoulder whenever I try to speak to him, too. That's not good. Any idea why you might be acting like this? Not at all, which is why I'm so worried. I haven't done anything that could have offended him the few times we've talked, and it's not like we've had some crunch from when we were younger, either. We've got along so well that then that we used to play together all the time. Hmm. It would be one thing if you were just avoiding me, but you started treating me like some sort of nuisance. As far as I can tell, something seems to be, seems to have happened to him at the fencing club. Those, those could definitely be really, oh no! Class one's part of the fencing club. He probably has to deal with nobles on such a constant basis that he, that he must project his hate on her from what he's in the fencing club. Oh no! No, that is the wrong way to do that guy. Oh jeez. I, I can already tell what's happening here. Either way, it seems like the quickest solution is to Alan, Alan himself. <laughs> Slow down for a sec. Don't worry, I'm not just going to walk up to him and ask him directly, but he might be more willing to open up to another guy about it. I'll go to talk to him and try to figure out what's going on through his head. 
Well then, thank you. Okay, I better go find him. Actually, before I do, do you know if he'll be at the fencing club today? Well, like, most likely yes. He'll probably find him in the training hall. Got it. Before you go, Rain, please promise you'll tell me everything you managed to get out of him. If I'm to blame here, I'd rather know. Please don't hide that from me. I won't, I promise. So we got some misunderstandings going on. Okay, I'm finally here, and I think that might be Alan. Excuse me, I'm looking for a guy named Alan. He's supposed to be a member of his club, but is he off today or something? Not with my permission, at least. He didn't even mention he'd be out today. Oh. In other words, he's skipping practice. Got a feeling I know where he is, though. I see. Where exactly are you thinking? I'd check the field out, if I were you. I like Patrick and Ashton actually cares about this club. Chances are he's skipping practice so he can train on his own. Well, well then, now that he mentions it, Patrick isn't here either. <sighs> That's not really an excuse, but I find it hard to blame him after what happened. Come to think of it, what did happen here last month? I'd only heard rumors. I'd rather not dig this stuff up, but both of them are skipping today. So what the hell? Truth is, Alan Patrick faced off last month. Patrick, being the slimy little scumbag he is, made a show out of holding back, then still beat Alan down. It was humiliating. It was a humiliating crush all of Alan's confidence right out of him. I don't doubt it. That's why I'm letting him off easy for now. I'd like to see him bounce back from this, though. Tell you what, if you got some business for Alan, do us a favor and tell him to drop by. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. We appreciate it. Of course, I'll be sure to tell him if I had the chance. See, I knew it. I knew Patrick had something to do with this. Because he cannot take if someone's better than him in any way, shape, or form. He always gonna bring somebody down. Apparently, he didn't learn from his last beatdown. You would think it would have given a little bit of a more open mind, but I guess not. Where are you? I'm in the field. But I don't see you anywhere. Ah, okay. You're in the very corner. What in the world? Oh, oh my god. From where I came, I thought he was levitating the freaking sword. I was like, wait, what are you doing? Man tricks over here? You're that guy from class 7, right? Do you have some business with me or something? No, nothing like that. I saw you training out here and was pretty impressed, that's all. That said, you seem a little hesitant and it's getting in the way of your form. What makes you think you can show up and criticize me? It's because you're noble? Yeah, that's right. I've heard about you. Should a high and mighty noble like you even talk to a little common like me? Or do you get a pass when it's concession? That stuff has never really bothered me. It seems like this guy has a noble shaped chip on his shoulder. Putting our back aside for now. You came to train, didn't you? How about you join me for a while? Me? Train with you? Yeah, it's a chance to press in a way you win normally. I'm sure you find it beneficial. What would you say? Well, I don't know what you're planning, but if it'll make me stronger, then I'm on board. I wouldn't say no to some big fancy noble who took the time out of his busy day to ask me anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll go get everything ready. I wonder if Tristan will let me borrow one of the combat shells. Rain called her to Sarah and she gave him permission to use a combat shell. You guys use this thing in class 7, right? Are we seriously going to fight it? It looks like a little intimidating, but it makes for great training, I promise. I'll take the point for now, so feel free to attack as often as you like. Right. Okay, we're, we're in it. 
Eat the fallen condition. Ellen deals the finishing blow. Ellen is conscious. Conscious at the battle zone. Oh, come on. So he has to be alive and do the finishing blow. Oh, Here we he go. took a lot of damage there. there. Oh, dang. Soaring bird. Okay, he then did quite a bit of damage. Here we go. Um. Huh. I hate to run by terror bombs like this, but he's got to live. Here we go. Oh, uh, they're all equal, so it's not gonna matter. Ow. Oh, he has no arts at all, and he can't move. My turn. There. Wait, do you have any supports? No, you have nothing. You have nothing. Yep. How do you miss? Go. Yeah, I'm moving out the way. Oh my god. Please live. Yep. My turn. This dude's gonna eat up all my freaking food. Yep. Go. Uh, That's right. I gotta keep remembering he doesn't have any freaking arts. Won't give up. Thank <laughs> you. 
That took quite a bit. I'm sorry, oh. everyone. Well, he went down. So he just glided over. Are I'm you sorry. serious? I'm using all this. Oh my god, you better appreciate me. Why is it so strong for a side mission? Oh, well, he went down. Can I just die? I'm, re I'm really just kind of like at this point where I'm just kind of like, whatever. Or do I have to beat this mission? It would suck is that we're like right there. I want to see what happens. Will it continue or will it actually make me keep going? You're actually going to make me keep going. And I'm not going to do it. So, <laughs> yeah, I ran out of time for this, uh, you guys. And uh, I'm just going to take this L. Uh, I don't know why this robot is so freaking strong for a side mission. I really don't. But... We're, we're gonna try this again later, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> and watching my ass be kicked on a sad mission like this. And if you guys did, then please do not hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!